Yo guys, how's it going? My name is Boost and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this crazy piece here. Here we have the 2018 Ultimate Treasure Hunt Bone Shaker right in front of me. I have it in my hands now. Before I quickly, I want to put this out, just a disclaimer, I did not find this in stores myself, so don't expect for me to put an in-store man this video out of finding the rarest car of 2018 or anything like that, because I didn't find it in a store like Kmart or anything like a retail store. I found this, I bought this pretty much, I guess you could say second-hand from a collector at the vintage market that you probably would have seen in a few of my videos, I've done a lot of videos there, and pretty much the seller that, sell that was selling this had a bunch of vintage red lines in box, a tuned Mustang in box, the super variation, and just they also had this as well. Now, this was somehow I don't know how I managed to get away with this, but it was sold for 35 Australian dollars. Now, I've already had a look, done my research, and on Evil Bay, I know that some of you call it, it's being, being sold for around $70 and up. So, when I saw it for this price, I just couldn't say no, honestly. So, this bone shaker piece is very cool. Obviously, so it's been called pretty much, I've heard it say, what is it, the rarest car of 2018, some people have said, or at least it's more rare than a super treasure hunt, so I'm guessing then it most likely will be the most rare mainline car of the year, but I'm not too sure. Until we find out the real numbers, then nobody really has any idea, but I'm guessing that this won't be around as much as the supers will, but still, the ultimate treasure hunt here, we have the Bone Shaker, so... For the 50th anniversary, we have on the tempos on the side there, we can see 50 there with a Hot Wheels logo and the number 15, not sure why that's there, but still pretty cool nonetheless. It, on the base, here we have a really, I don't think I'm liking the orange base, I'm pretty sure the base code is L04, but I can't move the card to see. Got these two very nice rubber tires, red lines there, which look very sick. Open hole five spoke wheels, which are pretty cool. Moving on to the back, we can see, what is that? Some exhaust, I'm pretty sure. And we can see the thickness of the rubber tires on the back there, looking very nice. And also looking onto the side, I quickly want to say, um, I'm not sure if this is Spectraflame paint or not. I'm pretty sure it would be. If you do know, please comment below. I'm pretty sure that they would use the, spec the Spectraflame on the Ultimate Treasure Hunt, but I'm not 100% sure. And here we have it on the front here. We can see the skull in a very shiny chrome. And looking on top, we can see in the side of the interior, which is chrome seat, sadly, chrome engine, which looks pretty cool, with those massive exhausts coming out the side. And you can see the orange beige partially in there. So, I have a quick theory as well regarding this car for you all. So, not regarding the car, but regarding how I bought it. I'm pretty sure that this might have been from Malaysia, stolen from a factory. Because it was so cheap, I'm guessing that this definitely wasn't found in stores anywhere, because if it was... This would have been sold at the market for probably, I don't know, 70 to $80, because this market had really overpriced stuff. So, to see this for such a cheap price, I'm guessing that it would have had to be stolen, sadly, but still, it's still a pretty car to have in, it's a pretty car, it's a pretty cool car to have in the collection, nonetheless. I doubt I would ever find one in the stores by myself, because... My luck is pretty bad with Hot Wheels lately, because I've only just found a Super recently and that's all, but still, this car is pretty cool. So I'm guessing the seller might have known someone in Malaysia that works for Mattel, contacted them and asked maybe even to buy them from the shops, but I'm not sure, honestly. But still, the car is pretty cool. Being called the rarest car, I need, a look, need, uh, I need your opinions on that, guys. What do you think? Do you think this is the actual rarest mainline car of 20... not 2017, 2018? What do you think? And also, it's in the race team number 1 out of 10, and there is no number on the top right corner. It's just, if you wanted to know for sure that this is the ultimate chase piece. But it's still, this is a pretty cool car. Not much to say about it, but it is still a very nice piece. Not going to be cracking it open, obviously, because of the rarity. But that's about it, except for this thing on the top that says, 50 years challenging the limits since 1968. We have a quick look in the back. Too. There's not much to look at, but we have still got... A bit of information there, Bone Shaker, 1 out of 10, Hot Wheels Race Team. Now this is a international card, so I'm not sure if there's any variations of this car. If it's like rarer to get a US or international card, whatever ups the value by anything, I would have no clue at all. But still, this is a very cool card to have in the collection. Pretty sad that it might be stolen, but still, it's a very cool card nonetheless. And for $35, I can't really say no. So anyway guys... Hope you enjoy this. Hope you all um, have fun trying to hunt for this car. Hopefully, a lot of you will find this car, but still, you would be pretty lucky to. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment down below what you think of this piece, and I'll see you all later.